on six. Uh, back to the cube room. enjoy the quotes by Cave Johnson. A lot of useful ones in uh, everyday life when you're at work. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. So we've got a little way to go to climb up. hate doing this sort of you jump through and then you've got to turn and did the first time though. where we reunite with uh, GLaDOS. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with... If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. I think that would come under chemistry, that Nobel Prize. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30 percent. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours. And if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Borealis. 
which if you don't know is the ship that goes missing in Half-Life uh, Half-Life 2 I think it's mentioned in I can't remember it's been a while since I played a lot of these old games what the red button does. Yeah, saying, I love the fact that these balances are just put perfectly on top of that uh, elevator control button. Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir. sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? There's another example of the uh, music playing as you uh, complete different tasks. It works quite well with the uh, soundtrack for this one.
guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Gabe Johnson and Carolyn. I need to go out, get that picture on my wall. missing something. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Well, mess that one up. All the, all the very subtle things, such as this shaking when you hit it, just adds that extra. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. 
So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. I'm thanking these people for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Elevated to the surface. It's unusual to give you this bit you can walk on. That's quite key to launch me. But I can't remember where I'm meant to drop from. Again, then. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or, oh, my God, oh, Look, you're doing a great job.
Is your boss a new robot? Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. That's it. All of these must be made of me. I go into that. So finally put on warnings if you're allergic to the moon. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life make rule the day. day. It thought it, it could thought give it Cave Johnson, Johnson lemons. lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemon. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Finding people. He said what we're all thinking. Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now, 
Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> now put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. We've climbed a thousand meters so far. I'm meant to go again. I thought it was up there. Oh wait, no, this is. I always hate jumping through portals when on the ground like that.
just let me have something. Something that just goes in the air vents, just spreads everywhere. You don't spend ages. Don't spend ages trying to cover the entire tube up. the lighting effects on this one single door opening is quite cool. This is a game that you, you definitely want to have with the race tracing on uh, get it running up properly. I think it's just on these giant springs. Or call it something because the entire aperture is okay, uh, science area. Come back to the original where lifts. 
No, I'm saying for a full, so the entire thing is in a giant salt mine, or something along those lines, salt caverns or something, and they keep getting earthquakes. So all the structures are on top of these giant springs, obviously counteract the earthquakes. I can't remember where I heard that from. For God's sake, your boxes with legs! It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boy, okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're arctic, man. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been in this for 12 hours, and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! Franken cubes. Something I was, I was thinking was on, but, uh, in the sort of boss fight you get, where you destroy, well, take over Glados and replace him, with, replace her with Wheatley. Right next to Wheatley is a well, right next to the sort of corpse essentially, is that of uh, a cube and the turrets. I wonder if we just saw the two together and went, how do? Ah, <laughs> yes! I knew you'd solve it! Hey, moron. Oh. Hello? Alright, paradox time. Dan, Sarah, Dan, 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 Um, true. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have heard that one before though. Sort of cheating. False. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility immediately. Hold on. Immediately. Before I fix that. Warning. Reactor core is at critical point. There. Fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously. Um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch, and everything is gonna be just. Warning: core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Extremely dangerous. Eventually. It's, uh, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. Impossible, um, as it is to imagine. There actually is a solution. Devilishly hidden. What if I just leave it? I'll give you a hint. Button. That's all I'm going to say. One word. Button. Go on. I'm just obsessed with cubes now. These are the cubes. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? So what? And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go! Now, do it again. 
And... Nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. There's an escape hole somewhere. What even is that? Like a part of a uh, rocket engine. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. I have to dynamite. Okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, all right? You just need to... Ah! And that's why I can't help you solve the tests. Uh, uh, uh. Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. So that's where you can break the... Well, maybe not. Maybe just needs to be moved to faster. your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology! It's complicated. Uh, you can't hurt the big old god face. Oh, yes! 
Well done. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shut them out, good as new. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shook them out, good as new. Small sound you can hear there. With the uh, tube thingy. Too many of around here. Monitors. I was actually thinking earlier today. I, got, I wish I had fewer monitors that were working. So you're just helping me, really, by smashing them.
All right, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's, well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. What? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents, 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 number one. You are adopted and that's terrible. And also, nothing. Me. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but, look at her, you moron. She's not fat. I am not a moron! Just do the test. Just do the test. As I mentioned, completely obsessed with those cubes. Right enough! If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. And, uh, that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. The way the flying through air just fits with the uh, the music you've got there. at the science. I think you were just there to try and kill me. Or gel, technically. If he's not getting his solution, Euphoria, we could be in a lot of trouble. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. 
What was that? Okay, to clarify, I was being a little bit facetious about that, wanting to get rid of monitors thing. They're actually really quite useful, so I do want the rain. So, um, if you could just avoid smashing them. Are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? No, a couple of these chambers, there are multiple ways of solving some bits. I think there's a couple of them where you can even go through the entire chamber, skipping 90% of the chamber. Wave. I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Interesting things that you can't fall on these ones because of some of the tiles are falling. See this is part of the tech team.
Oh, I got how you can kill the camera. Off screen. You solved it, didn't you? I, I told you to tell, to tell me before. Why are you making this so hard for me? Remember when I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions? Because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding. already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I let him keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, but just keep on testing. Right, I am going to leave this here for tonight and continue tomorrow if possible.